Yep. And the first thing I did was put up the painting. So, nice. Yeah, and would have loved it. Fortunately, it's not my style. We could have had a nice argument about it. Yeah. I don't know. No, it's nice in here. It's just got a weird smell to it. So I you know, lit a bunch of M's candles. It's a really nice neighborhood, though. Well, why don't you come over tomorrow? And we can look at M's paintings and kind of reminisce. It's sad. Now she's got one. It's really beautiful, but wasn't finished. Yeah, it's my address. So, I don't know. I'll be here. I'm not working these next few days. Cool. Well, I'll talk to you soon, man. So, check the cameras, nothing there. Not sure what we can do for you. But, you picked up that powder bleach shit, yeah? I don't want that shit floating around. Do you hear what I'm saying? Someone broke into my house last night. Do your cameras even work? Yeah, I hear you, but again, cameras are fine, nothing there. You sleepwalk, that kind of thing happens all the time. Maybe just uh, lock up the hazardous chemicals, could you? I don't sleepwalk. It, it, it wasn't me. It, it, it wasn't anyone else according to you. So what, a ghost? If it's a ghost, you're the first one to piss it off. Could it be a new ghost? No such thing. All ghosts are old. Everyone knows that. I didn't know that. If I could just add here, new ghost sounds ridiculous. If you think about it from the technological perspective, it would be impossible because 5G would cause some electromagnetic interference. So the energy from the spirit wouldn't be able to materialize. So that's that. Yeah, who's ever heard of a new ghost before? With fucking Jordans on over there like... Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Uh, I guess this is my fault. You guys were wildly unprofessional and unhelpful, so thank you so much. And you need to stop having poison chemical parties. Okay. Hey, if you see the ghost again, just make a hot spot. Nice. Cheers. Cheers, man. <laughs> See what you're saying? I think it was everywhere. You know, just 
just detergent all over the place. Fucking terrible. All right, well, you were sleeping, mm -hmm. and that douchebag in the office said that there was nothing on camera. I mean, I don't want to say it, but... No, listen, come on, it was all over the place. Yeah, right. And the door was locked too, right? I'm just saying. Yeah, if you say ghost, you're gonna get bleach in your beer. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe next time you bump into a neighbor, just ask if anything weird happened. No, I, I pride myself on having normal neighbors. I try my best to be a normal neighbor. Well, you're not gonna seem so normal if you keep scooping up all that shit in the morning before work. One time thing. How are you feeling, by the way? Fine. I guess. It's hard. Not having her around. We checked out this place a couple months ago and she was dreaming of having parties for friends and family dinners. So it gets really hard. Hi. Do you need any help? Oh, no, no, it's fine. If I don't do it myself, I might as well hire someone to do it. Hey, you must be the new neighbor. You know, I saw, I saw you moving in. I'm Ali Strauss. Nice to meet you. It's a nice building. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, definitely. Um, you know, Russell, Russell, he takes care of it and he's, he's an absolute dear. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Yeah. No robberies? Oh, goodness, no. Nothing ever goes on in here. No.
Oh, hello there. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you too. I don't think I got your name the other day. With all that ruckus that peeled you away. I hope it was nothing serious. No, um, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm Stan. You're Annie? Annie Strauss? Yes, dear, but please, just, just Danny, that would do. And, you know, I was, I was startled as well in that moment. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't, um, I don't normally act that way. You know, would you like to come for a cup of tea? I, like I insist, I insist. I, um, you know, I don't have many visitors these days, I could use a chat. Come. You live here by yourself? Yes, all by myself. Not many visitors? Kids live far away? Well, you know, the older they get. Do you want any sugar? No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could visit my mother more, but she's no longer here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, as you said, the older they get. I lied. My daughter, she committed suicide not long ago. It's terrible to hear, I'm sorry. Yes, yes it is. Did she happen to live where I live now? What, what makes you say that? Well, the apartment came furnished and I found this lodged in the couch. Let me see that. Yes, she lived there. Not that it would mean anything to you. So that she killed herself? She did. She poisoned herself, is what they told me. Yeah, I heard that too. What are you trying to say? Did you come here to talk to me about my daughter? That useless... Did she really kill herself? What, do, do you feel for her now? <laughs> do you have any idea what a waste of time and life that girl was. Always sick and bitching and moaning and, and fucking my life. She was devoid of life even before. And the expense and, and the time and the fucking patience. I never wanted a child in the first place, let alone one that cannot fucking bear a flu? I gave her so much and she took everything from me. Everything. Ever since she was in the doctor's arms, <laughs> she started fucking coughing. It's not my fault, it's her fault that she ingested that fucking poison. I, I didn't...
I just wanted to apologize. I passed judgment with no knowledge of the situation or the state of Samantha at her death. I don't want any ill will between us. Being neighbors and all, I was hoping I could come in, chat, have some tea. Well, I, I guess I barked a bit too. I'm sorry. Won't you please come in? Yes, I, I think sitting down and talking is a great idea. Please, please sit down. I'll, I'll get the tea ready. Would you, would you like anything else? Perhaps I can bring some lemon squares. Um, would you like that? Um, you know, like. You know, I, I, feel, I feel the need to clarify. Um, losing a loved one is, is a complicated thing, let alone when, when it's a child. Everybody talks about how different people process this type of grief. And, um, you know, um, nobody talks about the weak moments. You know, weak moments like I had the other, the other day. The pain, the pain can come out in, in a number of ways. And, um, you know, things that you never meant or thought or felt, they just, just come out. And um, holding the sadness, for them being gone and the anger, for them doing it. Where is the balance? I hope you understand. She was sick. And you poisoned her. What, what did you just say? Haven't you heard a word I said? What's wrong with you? You poisoned her. You killed her. Woo! <laughs> 